Last semester we learned all about alcohols and phenols, and we're going to finish the chapter that we didn't finish last semester. What we're going to look at in this semester is the formation of alcohols with Grignard reagents and also how to protect alcohol. We've already learned that Grignard reagents are very basic. Remember, we formed Grignard reagents by taking the alkyl halide and treating it with magnesium and ether. And we said, if you have anything protic around, immediately the Grignard reagent is going to react with that protic compound and do an acid-base reaction. So this very basic methyl anion is going to grab this proton and make a methane, which would be gaseous, and then the magnesium bromide and the uh, ethoxide would join together as a salt. And uh, it's a very fast reaction. This occurs anytime you have anything protic in combination with a Grignard reagent. So alcohol, acid, amines, even thiols will react with Grignard reagents and be deprotonated. Grignard reagents are also nucleophilic. They've got that negative charge on the carbon. And those are greatly attracted to positive charges as in a carbonyl. This carbon in the carbonyl has a large del positive because the dipole in the carbonyl is so large. That Grignard reagent is going to be attracted to this large del positive. When that happens, the Grignard reagent adds to the carbon in the carbonyl, and then these electrons that are in the bo double bond there, they jump onto the oxygen. And so we end up having four bonds of carbon. Here's the product of that reaction. This was the Grignard reagent. This used to be part of the ketone. Now we have a negative charge on the oxygen that's very easily protonated by washing with water or acid. We almost always use acid to make sure that we protonate this to the uh, fullest. Um, but you can use water and that works too. All right. The overall reaction here is that you have an, uh, a ketone. Aldehydes work too. But here we have a ketone and the Grignard reagent. The Grignard reagent is going to add to the carbonyl and the negative charge is going to jump up onto the oxygen. This will protonate that. The overall reaction is here is the ketone atom. There is the Grignard reagent atom. The Grignard reagent adds its carbon chain to the carbon in the carbonyl. That double bond disappears and then what happens? That oxygen has a negative charge on it and it becomes protonated to become an alcohol group. So now why don't you try to see if you can come up with the correct product from this Grignard reagent. Pause the lecture and then restart when you've gotten uh, an answer. Okay, we'll look at this. Um, the product of this reaction is determined by taking these one, two, three, four, five carbons here and one carbon on the carbonyl. And then we have these two carbons on the Grignard, negative charge right here. What is going to happen is it's going to do nucleophilic attack. So we're going to get a carbon with an alcohol group on it. And attached to that carbon, you're going to have one, two carbons, one carbon, and then five carbons. Here's a picture of that. Here's the carbon-oxygen bond. That used to be the carbonyl. This is the methyl group that was here. And this, one, two, three, four, five, those are the five carbons here. And here are the two carbons, one, two. Okay? So we just, uh, just take your time and count atoms as you put this together to make sure you don't add or lose uh, atoms. 
here's another one for you to try. Okay, in this uh in this reaction we have one, two, three, four, five carbons coming from the Grignard reagent, and we have one, two carbons in the carbonyl compound. This is going to become the alcohol. There's going to be one carbon attached and then five carbons attached. What's the product? The product is there's the methyl group from here. Here is the carbonyl that was here, and then one, two, three, four, five. Those are the five carbons right there. Okay, so now you've seen how to do a Grignard reagent. Let's look at the protection of alcohol. We already have seen that the Grignard reagent will not work with a um, a protic compound. So let's look at a situation in which we're going to have a protic compound present. Here is the protic compound being present, uh, along with the carbonyl that we want to have undergo Grignard re uh, reaction. So we want the Grignard to attack here and make this alcohol, a methyl group on the alcohol, but it won't happen because this is going to react fast and furiously with that Grignard reagent before it ever has a chance to attack the carbonyl. So what do we do? Well, we do something called protection. When we are looking at an alcohol that we don't want to undergo a reaction, we can cover it with a group that is unreactive. The group that we use is something called uh, uh, trimethylsilane. So here's an alcohol, and here is three methyls on a silicon with a chloride. This is the leaving group. This basically can do an SN2 where the oxygen comes in and displaces the chlorine from the silicon. And then the pyridine is just the base that picks up the acid that is produced from this reaction. And now the alcohol is no longer protic. You've got a group covering it to prevent it from reacting. This is very easy to take off. All we have to do is wash with acid, or we can, if you can't put acid on your compound because it's sensitive to it, what you can do is make a sodium fluoride solution and wash the, um, the compound with the sodium fluoride solution, and that would take it off also. Okay, here's an example of protecting that alcohol. Here's the alcohol group that we want protected, and here is trimethylsilane and an organic base to remove the hydrogen chloride that's produced, the hydrochloric acid that's produced. This is uh, the protecting group. We'll usually write it just as PMF on the oxygen. And now it's protected. There's nothing protic here. And it can, the, the carbonyl here can undergo a Grignard reaction. Here's an example of doing how you would do that one compound that we couldn't do before. We mix uh, TMSCL, uh, so this is trimethylsilochloride. We mix that with this alcohol group, and we have a base there to pick up the hydrochloric acid that is produced. Once uh, we have the TMS group on, then we can treat this with a Grignard reagent, and the Grignard attacks the carbonyl. The carbonyl becomes this alcohol group there with the methyl attached. Now we wash with water, and what happens there, not only do we protonate the alcohol here, but the TMS is cleaved off by the acid. So how can you change this alkyl halide that's got an alcohol group on it into this compound here. Hence, you have to do a Grignard reaction. And you've got to protect. So, pause this and sit there and try to figure out how you can do this.
and uh, then restart the lecture when you're ready. Okay, the first step that you're going to have to do on this is going to be to protect that alcohol functional group. So you treat with CMSDL and pyridine, and it's protected now. Now what you need to do is make your Grignard reagent. If I treat with magnesium and ether, I get this Grignard reagent. Now I need to add this carbon, oxygen, and carbon. What did this used to be? Well, if this is doing the nucleophilic attack, this had to be your carbonyl. So what do I need? I need a two-carbon carbonyl, and then I can wash with acid. And the acid is going to cleave off the PMS and proteinase alcohol. 